Designed to be one of the most powerful ground-based telescopes ever built, NASA's new telescope will be able to take more detailed photos of distant objects, including planets that may harbor signs of life, as well as investigate the nature of mysterious substances and forces that dominate the cosmos. Many astronomers say it is required to answer some of today's most pressing cosmological concerns. For example, how did galaxies form in the early days of the universe? Is it possible that we are the only ones in the universe? Join us as we take a look at the science behind the new telescope. Mauna Kea, the world's tallest mountain from base to peak, is located in the Hawaiian island of Oahu. It climbs almost 6.3 miles from the sea floor, about 4,000 feet higher than Mount Everest. This landmark is one of the best places in the world for stargazing, with its top located far above the clouds and away from the light pollution caused by the island population below. Because of its high heights, dry weather and the greatest number of cloud-free nights of any mountain on the planet, Astronomers value Mauna Kea's position and characteristics. Its location in the center of the Pacific Ocean enables astronomers to see both the northern and southern sky from the same place. Thirteen telescopes already exist on the summit, and a fourteenth is under construction. The 30-meter telescope, TMT, which will measure 34,000 square feet and 18 floors tall, will capture images 12 times sharper than the Hubble Space Telescope. TMT International Observatory, or TIO, is an international non-profit organization in charge of the telescope's design, construction and operation. With the help of this telescope, a group of universities from Canada to China to Japan to India through to the United States intends to study the origins and mechanics of our universe, as well as dark matter. This telescope is unlike anything we've ever seen before. TMT will be three times the size of the world's largest visible light telescope with nine times the area. This larger telescope will produce crisper and more detailed images than current ground-based and space-based telescopes. But it is only by using advanced adaptive optics to rectify the blurring effects of the Earth's atmosphere that we can achieve these advancements. Because the environment over Hawaii is quiet, constant and free of clouds and weather, Mauna Kea is one of the best places in the world for employing adaptive optics to enhance images. In the end, TMT will transform our understanding of the universe and serve to keep Hawaii at the forefront of astronomy around the world. This telescope provides two new fundamental capabilities, none of which can be provided by existing ground-based telescopes nor by small telescopes in space or future plans. The first is the improved spatial resolution. That is, as long as the Earth's atmosphere distorting effects are compensated for using an adaptive optic system. The other is increased sensitivity. Sharper images help us to see finer details and smaller objects. TMT will therefore have three times the resolution and detail of existing telescopes. Astronomers will soon be able to identify planets around other stars in the habitable zone, a distance from a star that enables liquid water on the planet's surface, thanks to TMT's tripled resolution. TMT will investigate many other areas of science that require finer spatial resolution than is currently accessible. From the start, TMT will have a high-performance adaptive optic system. The increased aperture of the telescope and the finer images produced by TMT will boost the telescope's sensitivity and, as a result, the image depth. With improved sensitivity, we'll be able to see even the darkest galaxies and the tiniest stars and planets in the cosmos. Since more and more objects can be researched and discovered thanks to improved sensitivity, this opens the door to new discoveries of previously unknown species in the cosmos. 
the TMT will be 200 times more sensitive, up to 200 times faster, and would be able to detect objects 200 times fainter than today's largest telescopes, which are typically 8 meters in diameter. The TMT will be a multi-purpose telescope, capable of a wide range of astronomical, planetary and physics research. The telescope will be able to host a range of devices that takes images or spectral measurements at various wavelengths of light, either optical or infrared. There are a variety of instruments that can be used in the early stages of operation. The TMT will handle a few crucial research areas significantly better than any existing facility. The TMT will analyze standard candle supernovae, enhanced by the strong gravitational pull of neighboring galaxy clusters far away. TMT will be able to test opposing dark energy ideas and discover how dark energy and dark matter have regulated the evolution of our universe throughout cosmic time, thanks to the features of these supernovae. Also, TMT will be able to examine the earliest galaxies that formed when the universe was only a fraction of its current age, such as galaxies containing stars made from the Big Bang's raw materials. TMT will further broaden the scope of research into the geometries, dynamics and chemistry of early galaxies from 5 to 6 billion years ago to nearly 13 billion years ago when the universe's first structures were emerging. TMT will also investigate individual stars in our nearby galaxies at a scale almost 100 times greater than is now possible. We can discover how our Milky Way galaxy and its nearest neighbors have expanded, interacted and possibly even amalgamated, i.e. captured dwarf galaxies over the history of the cosmos by resolving and examining these individual stars. The emergence of supermassive black holes in galaxy centers with masses up to a billion times that of the Sun is tightly tied to the host galaxy's growth progression. Because of TMT's increased spatial resolution, we'll be able to weigh black holes 20 times smaller than we can now. More than a 1,000-fold increase in the number of situations where black holes can be weighed will allow us to expand our research of the relationship between black holes and their host galaxies back to the early universe. At the moment, nothing is known about the process through which stars and planets arise from collapsing clouds of gas and dust. Even in the most densely populated regions of the Milky Way and our nearest partner galaxies, TMT can give high-fidelity images and spectra of individual stars at infrared wavelengths. TMT's far broader variety of environments will allow us to better understand how stars and planets of all sizes large and small, develop outside our Sun's immediate vicinity. Most stars, as we know, have planets around them, and Earth-sized or terrestrial planets in their host star's habitable zones are common. Space-based and ground-based telescopes can only begin to characterize the highest mass, highest temperature exoplanets, such as hot Jupiters and lava planets, which are significantly different from the majority of exoplanets in our galaxy. Meanwhile, the 30-meter class telescopes will enable us to investigate the primary population and solve the crucial question of whether terrestrial exoplanets have atmospheres similar to Earth's. The search for the presence of water and organic molecules, evidence of biological activity, and evidence of extraterrestrial life in the chemicals found in the atmosphere of Earth-like exoplanets can go even farther. However, the years-long battle to stop the 30-meter telescope from being built atop Mauna Kea has exposed the rifts between scientists and the communities they rely on for knowledge. The dormant volcano, which stands at approximately 14,000 feet, is a sought-after spot for astronomers seeking answers to deep questions about the universe. For many native Hawaiians, however, it is a sacred site that previous telescopes have already tainted. 
The TMT's construction has been stalled since around 2015, when protesters obstructed the equipment on the mountain. The protests also led proponents of the telescope to rethink their ideas and collaborate more closely with the native Hawaiian community in order to identify a viable route ahead for the TMT project. If erected, it would join the existing 13 telescopes on Mauna Kea. Mauna Kea is a place where the Earth and the sky meet. It's a dormant volcano that serves as a physical location for religious and cultural practices. It is considered an ancestor of the Hawaiians. At the peak, a Kuahu Lili or altar represents the connection between Akua, the creator, and ancestral ties to creation. It is also the residence of En Akua gods and En Umakua ancestors, as well as a burial cemetery for high-ranking Hawaiian chiefs and Kahuna chiefs, priests. This location represents the apex of the Hawaiian people's ties to their past. The proposed site of TMT is located within Wao Akua, the realm of the Creator, a sacred Hawaiian region. Because this space is dedicated to the deities who provide the native Hawaiian with life, the native Hawaiians rarely enter it out of respect for their ancestors and gods. Within 1600 feet of the proposed telescope are three antique altars carved out of volcanic rock that could be damaged in the construction process. Adding this telescope to the already limited space on the summit, in the perspective of the native Hawaiian, interrupts Hawaiian rituals, disrespects the resting place of their ancestors, and destroys the land's balance. The debate over whether or not the TMT should be erected on Mauna Kea is sometimes presented by proponents of the telescope as a battle against an indigenous people who don't comprehend or respect the telescope's scientific value. Those opposed to the construction of the telescope, on the other hand, do not see it that way. Many of the protesters, who call themselves protectors, consider their actions to be pro-science. However, many astronomers contend that it is required to address some of our most pressing cosmological mysteries. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.